Hello and welcome to the How Do I Video series for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. Through this video, I will show you how you can use Jet Expressor Word as Word layout tool for report creating in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015. My name is Alexander Totovic. I'm a Microsoft Dynamics NAV MVP and I have created this video in collaboration with the training center Platan and Microsoft. At the end of this video, you will learn how you can download Jet Expressor Word, how you can use this tool and what are the main differences compared to the standard Word XML mapping pane. The objective of this video will be how you can download Jet Expressor Word and sample reports with report FOB file. Also, I will describe how you can use Jet Expressor Word samples and how you can create reports with this tool. I will present the main differences between Jet Express for Word and the standard Word XML mapping pane in report creating process. As you can see, I will enable this scenario in four following steps. First, I will describe how you can download and install Jet Express for Word, and then how to download and use sample reports and FOB files. After that, I will explain how you can use this tool in report creating process, and on the end, what are the main differences compared to the standard Word tools. As I already said, in the first step I will describe how you can download and install Jet Express for Word. We first have to find Jet Reports website. Then, on the bottom of the home page we will find Jet Express Overview and we need to click on this link. On the new page we have to click on the Jet Express for Word button on the left part of page. Now we have to open Jet Express for Word page. We can use this page on different language if we need it. On the bottom of this page we will find free download button and we have to run it for downloading. Before we start with downloading we have to fill short form with your personal data and click on this button. On the new page we will see that we can download complete Jet Express for Word in three parts. First, we have to run step 1, install the Jet Express for Word. Then, we have to unzip this file. In new folder, we have to run setup file, but we must run it as administrator. Now, when we run the Word, we will see the new tab, Jet tab. In my second step, I will show you how you can continue with download process for the remaining Jet Expressor Word parts. We have to run the second step, download sample reports and getting started documents. When we download it, we have to unzip this file as well. You can see that in the new folder, we can find PDF document with manual and Word template on six different languages. Then, we have to run the last step, download FOB file. And, of course, we have to unzip this file. Again, we will see the new manual and FOB file in six different languages. In our next step, I will explain how you can use the sample report in Jet Express for Word and how to edit and create report layout using this tool. First, we need to know that when we install Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015, we have only four sales documents with Word layouts. There are mini documents, sales quote, sales order confirmation, sales invoice and sales credit memo. When we import the new Jet Express for Word FOB, we will get new four documents reports on 14 million object rank. There are sales order, sales invoice, sales credit memo and sales quote. These new objects have also Word layouts. When you look at development environment, you can see these mini document reports. And now I will import a FOB file with four new reports. You can find them on place we already download them on E4W reports folder. You can choose the language you want. In my case, I will choose English language. You can find two sample folders with two different Word template packs, sample 1 and sample 2. 
I will open invoice template, for example in sample one pack and you can see how it look like. Now I will open different template for invoice in sample two folder. And you can see that this template is completely different. When I open an E for W business object folder, you will see that it contains a FOB file with an object, but again in six different languages. Now I will import FOB file from English folder. OK, you can see that we have not any conflict with objects and now I can find these new reports. There are these new four objects. Now let's try it. Open a Windows client and go to report selection in sales. I will choose credit memo and change the standard report with new one with Jet Express template. Now I will open report layout selection page and find this report. I already configured as credit memo. I will run this report and we can see that this is report with template from sample one folder. Okay, I will choose it and open custom layout page. I will create new word template with description 2 and import credit memo layout from sample 2 folder. Also, I will configure this custom layout as default layout and run this report. We will see that system runs a report with different template. Now I want to make a small customization on this template. I will make a copy of this template and run edit layout. When I run this function, you will see the system automatically open a Jet Express for Word pane in Open and Word document. Every time when you want to edit your layout in Word, system will automatically open this pane. When I click on document link, we can see all XML mapping for this report. Now, for example, I want to add one field for header part. This is text registration number. You only need to right click on this field and choose insert text. When you place your mouse pointer over this field on Word, you will see the name of this field and his group, in this case header. When you want to add a label, you have to go to labels part and find this field. Again, right click on field and insert text. In this report case, you can find field as I presented, but this depends on how it report is created. OK, I will save this document and say yes to import changes. When I run this report, you will see the new field value and its label. In my last step, I will show you differences between using Jet Express for Word and the standard Word XML mapping pane in report editing and creating. To do it, I will open report layout selection in Windows Client. I will find a mini sales invoice report and open custom layouts. For example, I will edit version 2 layout. As I already said, Jet Express for Word pane is automatically opened. I will open the XML mapping pane at the same time. To do it, you first have to enable development tab. Now we have Jet Express for Word pane and XML mapping pane side by side and we can make comparison. First, you can see is that Jet Express for Word tool is ready. But if you want to have XML mapping pane ready for using, you first must choose XML part from part list. Then you can see that we have a header in both tools. When you expand header, you will see the same fields in both tools. Now I want to add field, first from XML mapping pane and after that from Jet Express for Word pane to make comparison. In first case, when we use XML mapping pane, we have to use right click, then choose insert content control and then choose one of the options, in this case plain text. But when I want to do the same using Jet Express for War pane, you only need to use right click and press insert text. You can see that result is the same, but not the way. When we use 
Word XML mapping pane, we have two more steps and difficult option choosing. To finish, we need to do the same save and import the changes. Now, when we want to create completely new template, we have to create a new template and import one of the already created Word templates. Now, we have to map fields and labels to this template running Edit Layout. As I already said, the Express for Word pane is automatically opened. You can see everything is the same as the already edited template. Choose Label, right click and insert text, then choose the field, again right click and insert text. You have to do the same procedure for each field. When you want to configure lines, you have to leave only one for configure. To add repeater, you have to mark this line and press right click on line part of pane and choose insert repeater. If you want to do the same thing from the standard word XML mapping pane, we have to press right click, choose insert content control and then repeating. As you can see, it is more complex when you do not use Jet Express for Word. Ok, when you finish everything, you need to save file and import changes. When you run this report, you will see the new report layout. In the previous steps, you could learn how to download and install Jet Express for Word and then how to download and use sample reports and FOB file. You also could learn how you can use this tool in the report creating process and what are the main differences compared to the standard Word tools. That was all. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. I invited you to follow other How Do I videos for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015.